Hi, good morning. Uh, for guideware uh, installation, we follow the steps in install install PDF in forty seventh page, which are there. So we are follow this uh, install policy center with uh, bundled quick start application server. The quick start application server will be inside that policy center folder itself. So we follow this install PDF instructions on forty seventh page to install it on computer engine. To install it first in Compute Engine, we have created one uh, Compute Instance in uh, GCP uh, with the basic requirement uh, uh, like uh, N1 Standard 2 and uh, uh, N1 Standard 2 and allowing all HTTPS uh, traffic, uh, HTTP and HTTPS traffic on. With that, we have created the Compute Instance here. So inside the compute instance, once the compute, compute instance has been created, we have copied uh, the file structure which has been given, the zip file for the policy center inside the compute, compute engine. Inside compute engine, here it is. Once the project uh, file has been copied here as a zip file, we have archived it into a policy center folder. So the folder structure inside the application will be looks like this. And uh, inside this, uh, there will be a bin folder. So inside bin folder, you will be having to start and stop the quick start application server. The command will be gwpc. So before going to this, and we need to uh, install and uh, suitable versions of and as well as uh, Java SDK versions. And the next step, we will see those two things. So we have downloaded the and and Java versions which are required. So in download folder. Download folder with our executable versions of uh, Apache and 1.8 version and Java SDK 7 version 1.7 version we have installed. Now what we have to need to do is we need to mention this uh, path in uh, CD policy center. So here we have mentioned the home directory of both and as well as Java. So by mentioning this, the application can access this Java and and software supporting. It. So this is the setup which has been uh, we have done. And so this quick start application uh, guideware application is just quick start application server which uh, with one port number as. 8180. So for that port uh, 8180, we have created one file world and we have allowed uh, we, we have authenticated this file world to this guide while instance so that all the requests from this request will be allowed to my compute engine so that we can access the applications. Once everything is installed and home directory has been set up and firewall is created, so we need to uh, start the server <coughs> start the server as per the installation pdf so we are using uh, this command gwpc.sh dev start for the st uh, for the stop command you need to just replace this start with stop so here we are using sudo command because basically this os is linux os and we are using uh, no hope and ampersand sign because it will the command will be running in the background even though if you close this uh, compute instance, the server will be running in behind. And you can set up your own database using JDBC settings has been given in the installation PDF also. So you can refer that one for whichever database you are going as well as 
you are going for Tomcat server also, you can install on the Tomcat server also. Once the server has been installed, you can use this URL. So this is the external IP address of the uh, compute instance. This, this is the external IP address which we have mentioned in compute instance here. So this external IP address will be static and generally when we stop and start a compute instance, this external IP used to change. But in this case, in what it won't change because we have defined as a static IP address and we have also into this particular instance. So in order to uh, access any application inside the compute instance, we need to go through the external IP address. So the link should be like this. 8180 should be the port number and the slash PC is the URL for the application. In Guideware uh, applications, we defaultly uses Quick Start database, which we don't need to install it explicitly. It will become by default. And you can find in page number 51 the configuration details of the default database of Quick Kickstart database. Here you can find in uh, database config.xml under database element type. You can find the parameters like data type, auto grid, param, JDBC URL which contains which contains the username and password and the uh, port numbers etc. And uh, coming to the configuration or migrating to the new new database, uh, basically this guideware will support SQL and Oracle database database. So how to configure for Oracle and the SQL database? Will uh, the details will be present on 27 page and in 67, 63 page, how we can connect to that Oracle and SQL database is there. In here, here in 27 page, we can see the configuring database. Here we need to configure different different uh, ways according to the database. In Oracle, we need to follow this instruction which are given like creating a uh, basic user and uh, giving the permissions of all these things in Oracle. And as well as in SQL server, we must have a public and DB owner roles for the main user, which according to the database. And as well as, as, well as we can find here the creating a database in SQL server. As well as, and we can see configuring Oracle for policy center. So both has been given the step by step instructions here. We can follow them and how we can create the tables and what are the users and what are the schemas we need to create and under which schema which uh, stores or at which tables are present details has been given here and the user the main super user what are the permissions we need to give it all those things has been mentioned in from 27 to 36 based all the information is given for both sql server as well as um, oracle for configuring for the policy center application and after this, we will see how to connect these uh, databases from using database configuration XML file. So in 63 page, we can see uh, configuring a database connection, which we have configured. We have gone through in page 27 that configuring Oracle and SQL server. So for that, how we need to connect from the database configuration XML, XML file, which is present in policy center application. So under data set, we need to data set element tag, we need to mention which database we are going to connect. The database connection details we need to provide here, as well as the SQL server. If we are using any database connection pool also, we need to mention like under database connection pool. You can find these details in 63 to 60 in 63 page onwards in the PDF document. Yeah. Thank you.